Hi everyone, I'm here getting ready to make lunch and today what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a curry and I'm not going to go all into making the curry fresh because I don't have time but what I found at a grocery store is a curry simmer sauce and this is great because it's vegan, it has no egg, it has no cream, it has approximately 2 grams of fiber and it has three, only 3 grams of fat per serving and the serving is actually one third cup so you get a lot for a little bit of fat and so what I like and this is so easy you can even make this for dinner I have some jasmine rice cooking in my cookie in my steamer and I'm going to heat up my pan and in my pan I'm going to put um, I would say um, like a fourth hmm, fourth cup of chickpeas so straight in my pan this is how easy it is you can even take this um, to your to your um, to your work, and if you have a kitchen area in your job, you could go ahead and just cook it there, microwave it. I'm gonna put approximately, I would say, um, hmm, I would say one cup of um, peas. Put a cup of peas in here, and then I'm going to put. Also, see everything is frozen; it's not fresh because I don't have time. And I'm gonna put one fourth of. Um, organic corn. It's very important to use, if you're going to eat anything that is organic and invest in organic, it would be potatoes and corn because these are highly um, modified, genetically modified. And, and so I'm going to put this in my pan. So one fourth, and I kind of eyeball it because I'm um, used to that. So this is what I have in my pan. See, it's all in there. And I'm going to have that heat up. And actually, you know what? If you don't even have time to have it heat up, then just go ahead and pour the um, the jar. I If you um, live in a place where there's no Trader Joe's, you can find something similar to this or you can make your own curry. And I'll go ahead and I'll put a recipe that's very simple for you to just mimic this curry. Okay, so I'm going to put um, one third. And then I'm going to mix it all around. And this is going to go over a bit of white jasmine rice and also a bit of greens. So you always want to have your greens. Greens is so important, especially if you're a vegetarian or a vegan because you greens have all of the wonderful nutrients and minerals that you can't find in um, animal protein. You have your iron, you have your calcium, you have just protein. It, it just I can't emphasize enough when people become vegan or they want to become vegan, they start off by eating so many carbs, you know, um, rice, potatoes, pasta, which is good. That is good because that's going to fill you up and bulk you. But you want to have just the same kale, um, greens, spinach. And so that's what I'm going to put in my big old plate because it's going to be big. So here it's all mixed up. And I'm just going to let it simmer. And um, next time, I'll show you how the whole plate looks like. Hi, guys. So everything is cooked. So I'm going to arrange my plate. And the jasmine rice is great. And I, oops, I'm sorry I'm out of the, I don't like when I'm not on the screen. But you need to invest in a rice steamer. It's so, so, so convenient so I'm gonna go ahead and put I don't know what two cups of rice on my plate I have a little guess back there um, so I'm gonna go ahead and put yeah so and if I happen to get hungry I mean if it does not fill me then I'll go ahead and put another half cup but I really like rice it's so good especially you know, I always have the brown rice, but, uh, you know, something about the jasmine or balsamic rice that is just uh, so good. Okay, so here we go. And now we have my rice. Now I'm going to top that with some greens. And again, everything right now is very easy for me. <laughs> so I have plenty of greens. I'm going to put that all over my plate. Plenty of greens. I would say more greens than anything else. This is going to look so humongous because of the greens. And then, last but not least, 
my curry. So I'm gonna try to see how I could do this without making a huge mess because I'm gonna eat the whole curry. So I don't hold back. And um, so let me just show you how this looks. Let me get a little taste. Okay, so here's my ginormous plate and I'm gonna have a taste. I'm gonna try to get everything if I can in one fork. Mm. So simple. And you saw how long it took me. I'm not editing this. It's real time. And it took me less than 15 minutes. Only because I had my rice maker. So I hope you're able to copy this recipe. And thank you so much for your hearts. Thank you so much for your prayers. It really means a lot to me. It really encourages me and it does wonders for my day. So thank you and I'll see you until the next video.